Hackney creates safe and beautiful spaces for senior citizens on a regular basis. I was in healthcare design in that and then went into senior living design because I had a very strong desire to help people in their last years of their life live their best life. When she realized most aging adults wanted to live at home, she knew she had to find and test products that would accommodate them. And something as simple as using this special phone can be transformative. All it has on it is just a photograph of the person and you just hit the button. For hearing loss, hearing aids can cost around $4,000, but the IQ New Hear earbuds are an affordable alternative. You could spend 400 so that you can go out to a restaurant with your loved ones and actually hear a conversation. It'll connect directly to the TV and you can hear the TV without the TV blasting everybody out in the rest of the house. She also recommends this special touch nightlight. As you set it on your nightstand, it's got an amber LED light to it. You have three different degrees of light that you can have on it and it's a night light that won't keep you awake. Even just getting up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, having this little bit of light helps to prevent a fall. If you're worried about a parent leaving a stove or oven on, Sini recommends Fire Avert. You plug this into back of the appliance and it'll automatically shut it off if there's an issue. But we're also keeping our family members healthy mm, at home. Definitely. How does this work? Now you can get for a small amount of money an FDA approved EKG. You used to have to go to the hospital. So what you do is you take your two fingers and put them on like this. The device will let your parents know if they need to get to a doctor. I kind of laughed at this yeah, when, when we first brought it out you but did. there is a real serious reason to have a companion pet. There is. So uh, we all know that pets Pets make us happy. There's a lot of research around companion devices, not only for children, but for seniors that we need to touch and integrate, and we can't always do that. It makes them feel like they're not alone. That's exactly right. Finally, Cindy says we can't wait until a crisis happens. We need to be proactive when it comes to our parents' well-being. So think of these things now as your parents start to age. Mel and Eric. Yeah,